Sitting here with South Africa's pound for pound king, Maruti Salane. A fight has been announced and you're coming home. Um, are you excited about that? Uh, yes, first of all, I will say, yeah, for sure. I'm excited. I'm over the moon right now. Uh, that the fight is confirmed. Mm, it's been a long time. They told me that they're still putting together, but finally it's confirmed now. I've signed the contract, so I'm back to the camp now. Yeah. Fighting in KwaZulu Natal again, how excited are you? I know this has been something that you've been wanting, but I mean, can you express your, your excitement? I'm excited to fight at home. Uh, it's been like uh, two and a half years now not fighting. Of course, my last fight at home was in 2017. Yeah, it's a good news for me that finally I'm back at home. Fight at home, yeah. For once COVID can give a blessing uh, to, to us and another defense of your world title. Um, are you excited to extend that legacy? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to make my fourth defense of the title. Uh, I'm, I'll be facing uh, Jason Mama. He's a, a young guy from Philippines. He's undefeated, strong. I've watched his videos. Yeah, he's a good boxer, promising boxer. But uh, I'll keep my title. There's no way he can beat me. It's not like I'm undermining him, but the way I'm training now, preparing for my fight, I'm no longer young. So I need this title. Yeah. At some point, did you think maybe this maybe this isn't going to happen this year that you'd have to wait until next year, or did you always have the confidence you were going to get a fight before the end of the year? Uh, to be honest with you, I was back, uh, I was training, but not so hard because I wasn't sure what's going on. Mm, to be honest, I, I didn't know that I'll fight this year. I thought maybe I'll fight next year, but it's uh, good news for me because I'll close the year. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about the opponent from Philippines, as you said before in the interview. Um, what else can we know about him before you guys obviously step in? Uh, now we we left with eight, eight full weeks preparing for the fight. Yeah, uh, we, we're studying him um, with my manager, coordinator and my trainer um, and assistant for some dollars. So we're studying him. Yeah, he's a good boxer, very young. He's hungry for the type. Every young boxer wants to be world champion. but. Uh, I'll have to keep this tag. Yeah. This is the type of opponent who wants to take away your dreams of unifying. Obviously, this is not a unification fight, but he wants to take away the dream from you. Does that motivate you? Yeah, that's why I have to work hard to keep this tag um, to achieve my dream next year for unification. You know? um, I, I think I'll be done everything if I can get unification next year. But uh, um, now I'm looking forward to my next fight defense of my IPF tag. I'll think about unification after I win this fight. There probably won't be a crowd, I'm not sure, uh, in Durban. Will there be a crowd or not? Did they say anything about that? Does it actually, does it, it, it obviously it matters, right? Because you want to fight in front of your fans, but you got to fight, right? I yeah, mean, for sure. Mm, I'm not sure about the crowd because at the moment there were two fights in South Africa, two weeks back, Emperor's Palace and in Soweto, where they, they were fighting uh, behind closed doors. I'm not sure about December, but uh, even if there are no fans, I'm still excited because I will fight as long as the fight happens. Fan, fans or no fans, I'm excited. How was it coming back to sparring again, you know, post-COVID and everything going on? Uh, how was this first sparring session, uh, lacing up the gloves, how did it all feel? Yeah, it's been not easy, as you know, if you have been sparring for a long time, you know, your body becomes tense and you close your eyes, but uh, I think I've done like uh, three, four, five sparrings now. Mm, I can feel that I'm starting to be in shape. You know, yeah. Well, if the people at home look behind you, the gym's not exactly empty. It's quite a busy gym at the moment, so you don't have a lack of sparring partners, put it that way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The, full, the, the gym is full at the moment. You know, I've got uh, plenty of sparring partners, different, as you, as you see, there are other boxers come, coming from other camps. So it's, it's, uh, it's better for me because I'm able to spar with different guys, not always spar with the same uh, sparring partners. So now I'm changing sparring with different guys that put different styles as well. I think it helps me a lot. Yeah. Do you need that as well because uh, I've just been fresh uh, or do you do you not mind? It's just you focus on your game plan. Like, does it actually matter? <laughs> yeah, for sure. We, um, we're going to focus on our, fit, uh, on our uh, fighting plan. But at the moment, it's just for my body to get used to everything, you know. As uh, I've started my training camp now. Yeah, for sure. We're going to stick on our fighting plan. Yeah. What is your family's reaction to you fighting at home? Yeah, they are excited. 
nervous at the same time because they're always nervous when I'm going to fight. You know? <laughs> yeah, especially my mom. But in all of them, no, they are happy that finally I'll get one fight before end of the year. Yeah. Right, and uh, just lastly, just to confirm, Maruti, 20th, 20th of December, KwaZulu Natal. What is the? Do you have any further details before we go? Yeah, for sure. Mm, lastly, I would like to announce that it's confirmed for 20th December to all my, fi my, my fans that uh, mm, I'm not sure if they will be able to come and see me in the arena if they don't come. So they will be watching on TV, but I know that they will be behind me all the time. Yeah. And lastly, do you have a shout out for anybody? Mm, yeah, for sure. I would like to say to make a shout out to all my management team. They're doing a great job for the last three years. They've been doing a great job for my career and getting me a quality fights and uh, to my sponsorships, uh, Tell Steel and uh, 1.618 advisory services. Now, thank you so much. Mm, they have been always supporting me during this difficult time of a pandemic, but uh, they were always uh, behind me and supporting me with the sponsorship. Thank you so much. Yeah.